Okay, you come out to Vegas. What's the one restaurant you and Stephanie have to hit? Cut. Really? Yeah, we go there Man, every that time was we're quick. here. Yeah, I mean, it, that the, was quick. The funny thing is, is we have to hit it no matter what the weight is. You know, like we oh, try really? and go there. They tell us, hey, there's no room at the bar, but we'll wait yeah. it out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. cut is good, and if you guys don't know, that's like a steakhouse. It's phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're the first one who actually mentioned cut. We had a Popeyes. Okay. So why would you do that? Why go to Cut? Or why no, go to why would you go to Popeyes when you're in I Vegas? Mean, Popeyes doesn't that, miss no matter what location you're no, at, though. It, I mean, I, if I knew where the Popeyes was, I'd probably go there myself, too. Oh, my gosh. All right. Hey, <laughs> I, I've ventured to a Popeyes before. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. All right, Gun Talk Live here with Chris Toomer of Rost Martin. You probably don't know the name. No. But you're about to. Uh, we are brought to you by Palmetto State Armory. And my first question when you with with you when yeah. we were sitting on the floor was what were you thinking you know <laughs> leap of faith right you yeah. know crowded market uh bring something yeah. to bring something to the market that the consumer wants you yeah know, we knew that there's a lot of polymer pol polymer striker fire guns yeah. out there but let's see a black guns but you know we needed yeah. to create something that the consumer wanted and i think we've got something that so man you four years in the making yep so what are the what are the what are the throws of it where was it birthed out of? Like, give us the, the four years. Okay, we're going to step back in time. Four years ago, what was the conversation? Sure. Well, we're sitting there, Steph and I, uh, we're, you know, looking at the market, thinking, you know, how do we kind of do our part? You know, yeah. we've got so much history, uh, our, our past working for Springfield Armory. Yeah. We have so much respect for all of the companies that have come before us and forged the Second Amendment for us. And so I think, you know, we're like, how do we either, you know, start a company? Do we go into advocacy? What is it? And so... Yeah. Starting a gun company was the logical next step, I guess. <laughs> Wait, you know? hold on a second. Yeah. It wasn't the logical thing to do, <laughs> but it was a like a more of a faith-driven, just jump in there yeah. and get it done. <clears throat> and I know that you guys are seeing some imagery um, about the gun. We're going to get into that, but let's talk about, like, okay, you're two years into it, and now you're, like, really starting to go. Where'd the name come from, Rost Martin? So uh, we were kind of bouncing a bunch of names off and we're thinking, you know, does this name, how does this name live in perpetuity? You yeah. know, are people going to be talking about this 20, 30 oh, yeah. years from now? And like, you know, the first thing people say, that's a stupid name. So, you know, about, about other companies, yeah. you know? And so Rost comes from Stephanie's side of the family, her okay. grandfather's name that, that helped uh, start Springfield Armory. And Martin comes from my side of the family, my great grandfather, great grandmother's okay. maiden name. And she really? was a pistol in her own right and was uh, very, very into her gun yeah. rights as well. So if she was still with us today, she'd yeah. be very proud of what we're doing. Good. That's awesome. And you were like kind of a disruptive force in your family, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was always doing what uh, people were saying not to do. So I think that's kind of yeah. on par with what we're trying to do. Uh, you're coming out with a polymer pistol. Yeah. Oh, great. What, what yeah. next? You know, what, yeah. what can you do for but, us? <laughs> but you look at this. And I'm going to start, okay, what's the name of the gun? It's called the RM1C. RM1C, yep. great name, because yep. it's simple, simple. easy, yep. compact. Now, okay, I got to hold this gun. <laughs> Thank goodness I got to hold it before. I wish I could have shot it, but it wasn't out of range. Shoots better okay. than it looks. I know. Yep. I figured you were going to say yeah, that. Yeah, it does. God it does. dang it. Yeah. See, now I really got to shoot it. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to have to get a hold of Stephanie right, and just yeah. say, hey, we'll hey Stephanie, it. just go ahead and send one to the gun talk offices because we're going to have to put it through its paces. Well, come on down. Let's I mean, for initially you look at it, really aggressive front slide serrations. Yeah. And I love that because if you're doing any press checks or anything like that, you can do them back or forward. Yep. I love that. Uh, the grip texture is light, mm -hmm. which I like. Um, but one of the coolest things I think you guys did was the indentation on the index mark up here. Mm -hmm. You guys have kind of wallowed that out just a touch. Mm -hmm. yeah. was that was a very intentional. We've, we've seen a lot of feedback from guns that have come out and, People, you know, people reference it as a gas pedal. We yeah. wanted to have some texture there to, for when the shooter's using the gun yeah. and implementing that they can find that. And so yeah. we've, we've kind of played with a few different textures, and we thought let's just keep it consistent on that yeah. part as well throughout the gun. Yeah, and that's and so when you're driving that gun out and you're driving that gun forward, that thumb, that indexing point on that gun is keeping that gun in control. God, see, yeah, I yeah. wish I could hold this gun <laughs> so I can show you the index point, but yeah. it's right here. If Benjamin yeah. gets in here, it's like right there. Um, comes of carp, super easy. You don't have to press the trigger. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. D you know, disassembly. You do not have to uh, push yeah. pull the trigger at all. All right. So walk us through the rest of the yeah. rest of the feature of this gun because it is a feature-rich gun, and. 
people are going to ask, like, what's the price point of it? Because that's one thing that shocked me, too, is because yeah. I was like, wait, hold on a second. All right. I'll, I'll go through the features, and then I'll give you then the Then give point. me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So starting in the rear of the gun, it's an XD, XDM site footprint. So what okay. we wanted to do was make sure we had optic, or excuse me, uh, plate. <laughs> so we yeah, had enough mounting. sites available yeah. for, you know, aftermarket. So if mm -hmm. people wanted to put those on there, then moving forward, we have a optics ready cut and so it ships with a metal yeah. rmr plate and we have okay. all the other plates so shield delta point pro and doctor footprint available yeah. on our website and so then moving a little bit forward we have the top slide serrations for anti-glare okay. we thought that was a nice kind of touch for a you know production level oh, yeah. gun and i think really what um we have ambi size on the ma mag release and then yes. also on the slide stop and we have a nice fence around the slide stop as well to ensure that when the shooter's kind of using the yeah. gun they're not going to accidentally they're not going to actually the deploy yeah, that yeah exactly Whoops. we were we were seeing that during our testing and we were thinking you know maybe yeah. we could add a little bit more to protect that and so that was something we took a lot of thought and care and yeah. put into and i think really what separates um our gun in the market for this price point is one that it's american made yes two is that the trigger. The trigger is very, yeah. very defined wall, a very crisp, yep. crisp wall. The reset is super short. And yeah. one of our goals for our company is that every gun that ships out is going to be right around that five to five pounds or less on the trigger pull. Yeah. That's what we're trying to accomplish. And I think when you squeeze the trigger and feel this gun has it incredibly low bore yeah. access. So if you're using a red dot, you're not going to spend you know a ton of time trying to reacquire your sights on target. That was yeah. kind of another thought process going through it. And, you know, Obviously, with all that, there's still tons of guns that are out there. So why pick up this gun? The price yeah. points retails 459. Jeez. <laughs> so you're seeing this gun in a lot That's of dealers crazy. right now for 429, 419. Really? Yeah, right now. So I mean, the so, gun is super affordable, lifetime warranty. So I'm gonna ask. So real quick, we're gonna kind of do a magic swap here because sure. I want to. I want to. Go in tight on Chris, and he's going to start explaining, like, the barrel crown. Yeah. And what you guys did there, because I want the camera to be able to see what you guys did. That's going to help the accuracy of this yeah, gun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, nice flush barrel crown right here, rounded out. So, it, you know, it's yeah. right at about 3.8 um, at the edge of the side. So, really? yeah, it so really keeps flush. flush right there at the end of the side. So, it's a really accurate gun. I mean, a lot of times what we get in response to when we send guns out to media and whatnot is we just get a group. And it's just people sending a picture of the group they shot yeah. right out of the box. Are you serious? People have said that this is the most accurate gun they've shot right out of the box. So, I mean, no kidding. hearing that consistently is means we're doing our job right, and we're just going to keep trying to provide that to our customer. So what's going to be next? Because uh, I know I you guys. I, I knew you were going to ask I knew you, yeah, I know yeah, you guys yeah. are already thinking for the future, but yeah. you kind of have to coming out with something <laughs> that, that's going to be this big. Um, I can't wait to shoot this gun. Yeah. Like, uh, the feel, the ergonomics on it, um, and the low bore axis is yeah. impressive. Um, so we, it ships we, with a 15, yeah, 15 and a 17 round 15 magazine. 15 plus one, 17 plus one, and for those states that have mag restrictions, we have a 10 round magazine that we're hoping to start shipping That's in, awesome. uh, in March. And then all of our listeners that are in California, we are trying to also do some of the manufacturing to ensure that we can apply yeah. to the California DOJ roster. So. Shouldn't be a thing. But yeah, it yeah, is. yeah, yeah. But it you is. Know, hey, you know, but, but is. I know that you know they they want their guns out there yeah. too. So we're trying to you know listen to those customers as well and get yeah. guns to them as well. So um, yeah, we have a we have a, a roadmap that we think you know one of the tenants of the company is being responsive. So we want to yeah. be able to listen to our consumers what they want. And so I think our next offering we're going to let this one sit in the market, let oh, yeah. people understand what Ross Martin is, yeah. get get their hands on this gun, and then I think uh, we'll. We got some good stuff coming. Good. We got other calibers. You know, I think well, there's That's a lot awesome. of stuff we can work with yeah. with this um, platform that I think will be... Holster configurations. I mean, because I know that a lot of guys are like, okay, I want to get it. Mm -hmm. I want to carry it. Um, what what holster offerings yeah. are you going to be? We've got uh, We the People, okay. Black Point, DeSantis, and our design, uh, QVO Tactical, and then we are working with Galco as well. So we're like a know. lot of the big ones and like those you can't go wrong with any of those. Those yeah. are great ones. We the people great. Mm -hmm. Galco. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. So we outside the waistband and concealed carry cuz really? really what this gun is is, you know, I carry it every day. You know, it's got a, you know, really not a lot of print on it. Yeah. Very thin, very light gun to carry, but you know, some people want to carry it outside the waistband oh, yeah. as well. So yeah, in winter months and stuff like yeah, that, that's exactly. fine too. Exactly, yeah, that's so going to happen. Exactly, and so I think that this gun. I mean, whether you want to have it as a concealed carry gun, whether you want to have it as a truck gun, you whether you want to run it as a CQB. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it. 
really appeals to the whole yeah. gambit of different shooters. You can put it, you run it through a course, you can use it as a training tool, you can use it as a, a first-time shooter. Yeah. I think, that's, I think really that's when you start you start seeing what a gun will really do yeah. is when you can run a more compact gun right. in a training course. Right. And I, I think that's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, back straps, um, interchangeable? Yeah, interchangeable, three back straps. So this is the medium that we have on there okay. now. We got the small and the large as well. So, yeah. I mean, So most people, like, you need to get this gun, you need to feel it. But most people don't change their back straps. Right, I don't know right. why. I like know. they all just say, "Oh, this looks great." Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try messing with your back straps. Change them. It, try all of them. Right. Because they may not all feel the same. You may shoot better with one than the other. Right. Just saying. Yeah. And they're easy to change. Um, can you buy aftermarket? Like, can you buy magazines yeah, off the we website? Can, yeah, we have them for sale on our website. Our website just went live yesterday. Okay. We started shipping just three weeks ago. So where so. can where can folks buy the gun? So we're in all the major distribution partners, so okay. all across the board. And then if you want to find this gun, go to your local FFL and just ask them. I mean, yeah. they can order it. I mean, we really? have, yeah, I mean, we've, it's, it's out there and we're in, especially from this so show, there's more, that's and more what, people. That's what four years, oh, well, in a lifetime being in the industry yeah. has done for Ross Martin. You yeah. guys are prepared. You yeah. understand like the demand's going to be there. Right. Okay. So we so. knew that we didn't want to have this gun come out and then, you know, people are asking for it and six yeah. months later, they're still asking for it. Like. Let's capitalize. If people yeah. want it right now, let's be able to ship it to them. Yeah, that's the that's the way to do it because the demand is going to be there. Right. Um, once they feel this gun, just ask to get it in. Yeah. Um, go. What's the website? It's uh, RossMartin.com. That's pretty easy, man. I will say this: when I heard the name, mm -hmm. this is going to be funny. No, it's probably not going to be funny. Um, <laughs> but when I hear the name, I think like it sounds fast. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's I don't know why. It's like, it sounds like an Italian race car. Sure, yeah. It does. Like, oh, I drive a Ross Martin. Yeah, I think if you come like, look at our booth, we've got kind of similar marketing. Really? Look, look and feel. It very, just sounds fast. Yeah, very nice and clean. And so I think that's, you know, we're trying to, you know, do things, shake yeah. it up a little bit. I dig the name, man. Yeah. And I dig the gun. Like, I'm, I'm excited to get this one in. Yeah. Like, probably in February, if I can get one in by February-ish, I'll run it during the next uh, training class. So I can do that. Would be, I can that get, would be I awesome. Give you one by the next week. Ooh, or yeah. have you come down and run the class with us? I'd do that too. Ooh, that would be even better. Yeah, I like that it. way better. Yeah, I love That's it. It's awesome. I love All it. Right. Yeah. Man, Chris, man, yeah, thank you for going. Thanks for bringing this yeah, by. Yeah, of course. RossMartin.com. You guys got to check it out. What's the name of the gun again? RM1C. All right, RM1C. Go check it out. 15 round magazine, 17 round magazine. Probably your next everyday carry live from Shot Show. Thanks, a lot. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.